what is going on guys today we are back with another video it is myself we got my good buddy steve with and we are up here on leech lake i absolutely had to come back uh, i was out here a couple days ago been fishing leech and winnie a little bit and uh the bite up here has just been great today we got a much different day it's super sunny and flat calm out we just launched out of Horseshoe Bay Lodge. It's kind of my home away from home when I'm up here. Phenomenal place, check it out. Um, they got a little bit of something for everybody. Big marina for when it's windy, can dock up, charge the boat. Um, they got like the hotel unit style stuff. You know, it's kind of a family place, but uh, also kind of catered towards fishermen. It falls always about uh, generally the fishermen. And kind of a great launch point if you're out here on Leech. So I'll go ahead and link them down below. What makes Leech special in my opinion is the diversity. And as good as the bite can be all year on Leech, fall is one of my absolute time favorite times to be here you get fish way up shallow if you guys watched the last video i did you guys saw we're just catching a lot of nice fish up in super shallow water and that's kind of the plan today today's definitely going to be kind of a different day because we just got all the sun lack of wind but uh we're going to run out hopefully find some fish we got a little run to make and uh like i said we're probably going to be doing the same kind of pattern where we're going to be pitching jigs at these fish on the side imaging and on the 360 up in some skinny water so um generally if we can get on them they'll be biting sometimes it takes a little bit of work to actually you know get on a big pile of fish but uh i'm gonna quit talking because we got a run to make and i want to catch some fish so stick around i'm gonna blast off and uh, hopefully catch a ton of leech lake walleyes today And it turns out we got a little bit more wind than I thought we were going to have. Totally flat at the resort. Now that we're out here, we at least got a little bit of waves going on. And uh, whenever you're fishing a shallow water bite, really anytime you're on leech, any time of year, wind is going to be your friend. And we're going to get several jig rods out to start. And uh, the next step of the process is just find some fish. And we hope to kind of run into a similar situation we were the other day when i was out here we're just kind of you know picking up some of these spread out fish on some of these big flats out here and we'll kind of go a little bit more into what we're looking at and stuff like that in this video but uh hopefully the results are the same hopefully we catch a whole bunch of nice fish out here on leech and uh yeah we'll catch back up with you when we find some fish Got him. <laughs> Perch or, ooh, walleye. There we go. Right off the bat. Little guy, but it's a start. Oh, look at this. <laughs> oh, man. There we go. Well, we are officially on them. And I'll kind of throw up a screenshot right here for you guys of this pot of fish that we're fishing for. Oh, look at this. Look what I got. I got perch in the side. Man, he's hooked so weird. Well, I can guarantee you that most of these fish out here are walleyes, even though we just got one little walleye and one perch so far. But uh, we're about to, I think, really get into some fish here. Fish on. And maybe a little better. No, we're just in the 15, 16s right now. Well, catching a fish pretty much on every cast. I don't know how much you guys are seeing of this because they're not quite our desired size yet, but we are pretty much getting bite on every single cast right now. Oh man, look at that pot of them. So I'll take a screenshot off my left here. You guys will be able to see this pot of fish we're working. And, uh, I might just kind of go to a bigger minnow or something here for a second. <laughs> oh man, it's like every cast right now, you're getting something. A little better. Well, if you're gonna, if you're gonna keep a bunch of them, we'd already pretty much be uh, <laughs> limited out. Yeah, we would already have our fish. Bunch of these 15, 16, 17s. Which are not quite the size I was catching the last time I was here. 
But we will find the larger ones. Fish on right there. See how much that one ran off with it? <laughs> there we go. Look how wild this fish is. He's also hooked all goofy, see that? Yeah. Well, a little better one. We got a lot of fish around and they're not all seeming to have the same optimistic attitude at the moment, but it's still early. And we are catching fish. You still seeing them or? You still seeing them back there? Uh, actually, I see them there. All right. We're spot locked, so we should just kind of sit here. Oh, here we go. Here's another little better quality fish. Still not quite a real big one yet, but we're working our way there in the right direction. And uh, for being October, you cannot complain about this weather. I mean, this is like surreal that it's even this nice out. There we go, you know, nice little 18, 18 and a half, 19 incher. We'll let him go and do it again. All right, you know, out here on Leech, when we're looking at a lot of these big sand flats, um, you know, this kind of fall bite, whether you're on a lake like Winnie or Leech, these big expansive lakes have these huge shoreline flats. These fish, you know, really flood into these areas this time of year, and it's only really gonna get better and better. And, uh, you know, side imaging is key to finding fish on these big spots. So don't be afraid to drive around for half an hour, an hour, two hours, until you kind of really see what you like. Because on these really big lakes, just a ton of dead water. And generally, you know, I get the big motor going. I'm going around on these, these spots at, you know, three, four, five miles an hour. Full screen side imaging on the hummingbird, absolutely key. And uh, this, this spot in particular is a lot of sand. So sand fish marks super well on side imaging on. If you get like really thick rock, you're not gonna see those fish as well. But a fish in a spot like this where there might be a little bit of rock inside, a little bit of weeds, and then mostly sand, these big pods of fish are gonna pop out at us super well. So basically what we're doing, we're looking for side imaging shots that are gonna look something like this right here. And what you can see here is all these fish and you know there's quite a few fish on this specific shot but you might see a shot that looks something more like this where it's just a few fish and if they're not potted up and like today we don't have a lot of wind so these fish might not really really group up it might kind of be one thing you'll see when there's not a lot of wind is they kind of spread out a lot more over a large area so as i'm cruising through anytime i see a nice pot of fish i'm making a note of it or i'm dropping a waypoint here and in a good area what you're going to see is you know maybe eight ten screenshots that look like this and then you can kind of set up a drift or spot lock find those fish make those specific casts at them and that's kind of what we're doing but the key of this whole thing is on a lake like Leech or these big natural lakes, they have these huge shoreline flats. Do not be afraid to spend a lot of your time that day driving around, staring at your side imaging. There's obviously no point in fishing where there's not fish, so make sure you're around fish when you start fishing. Better. Thanks for pointing that out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, better. Just sharpshooting all these pods of fish. Still <laughs> kind of that 16, 17. It, uh, Loaded though. I mean, we've caught, I don't know how many of that fish we've caught so far, you know. Right in that kind of 15, 16 inch range. Lots of them, endless of them. They are seemingly endless, which is kind of funny because in the same area the other day, I wasn't catching hardly any that size. There's a better fish right there. <laughs> Unless it's a pike, which it definitely could be a pike. Oh, it is a walleye. And look at that, it's not even that big a one. That's how hard these things fight out here. <laughs> Can you believe that thing? Can you believe that thing was pulling that hard? Yeah. Look at that. Well, we're just catching a ton of fish right now. There's another, you know, keeper size one there if you're gonna keep one, but not uh, not all big yet. Yeah, this looks good. And just let that one go. 
And of course, another fish on here. Better fighting. <laughs> they fight so hard, don't they? Up here in this shallow stuff. Look at that. Another nice fish right there on the jig. Pitching quarter ounce jigs. Keys to this bite is just big shallow flats. Quarter ounce jigs. Yeah. And uh, just reading that side image and casting out in the big pods. And like I said, we're pretty much catching them constantly right now. Tons of fish around. And that is just a fall leech lake bite to a T. Side imaging, big flats, pitching jigs. Right there. <laughs> First cast on the plastic. Spot lock us quick here. It doesn't feel too shabby. They will bite a plastic. Nice, super healthy leech lake walleye here. And these fish are just so nice and fat. And like I said, like we keep saying every time we catch one, they pull hard. And there we go. There's two of them. Pretty simple style of fishing. Getting on these flats, cruising around. It's good to see they'll bite a snap jig plastic too, because if they'll bite the plastic, I'll keep throwing it all day long. That's a quarter ounce with the Kalins, Jerk Minnow Jr. and Arkansas Shad. Steve's got a little smaller one, but catching tons of fish, which is uh, just kind of how Leech Lake is. Look at that, <laughs> beautiful. There we go, back for more. Right there. Another fish on on the plastic. <laughs> I don't know how many fish. That one actually popped it a little bit. And I don't know how many fish we've caught so far. A ton. We're just in a massive pile of these kind of eater sized fish. Sometimes they're popping it and sometimes they're just kind of popping into them, you know. Yeah. Should be good. <laughs> it's like we just can't get those big ones. To... Oh, except that right one. there. Except it's not big for whatever reason. He's flying around all crazy though. Isn't that ridiculous? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we are having a good time and just catching a ton of fish this morning like i said not a lot of super big ones but if you're coming out to leech lake to keep a bunch of fish which i'm sure many of you probably are it is full of them there we go you guys kind of see what we're doing if we're in a pot of fish we're kind of spot locking and casting around if we're not just flying around with the trolling motor and if we see a little grouping of fish pitch out to them quick and like that you can catch one pretty much that quick sometimes Family wants to pay it, that's fine, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Oh, right there, right away. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <laughs> oh, man, uh, you know, we just talked about how we're moving around out here. Got into another pot of fish. And look at a little better one, huh? Sometimes it pays to drive around, and that's exactly what we're doing right now. You guys just saw me kind of break down this next spot. And uh, probably drove around for you know, 20 minutes on it. Made one cast, and look at that. I mean, that's what we're after right there, right? Jigging, shallow water, leech lake walleyes in the fall. 
I don't really know what else there is to say. I mean, that's about as good as it gets right there. We just hope to do this on repeat all day long. Fun bite, fun lake, unbelievable time of year. And that is the fish we're after right there. It's a little more like it. <laughs> it's a little better. All right, trolling motoring is up. We are on the move. That was kind of our first pot of fish of the day. And uh, not too bad, caught a lot of them. Not a lot of size to them, but uh, got a lot of hook sets in on spot number one. And we're gonna spend the rest of the day just kind of running around, looking for more fish, looking for bigger fish. And hopefully at some point today, film another video. We might kind of wait till the last hour or so of the day. You know, a lot of this kind of, when you get a lot of fish in shallow water and it's hot and sunny and there's no wind, um, you know, a lot of these fish, the bite might not be as good in the middle of the day. It might be really good, you know, early and late in the day. So the whole goal is to hopefully find a big pot of fish somewhere with some big fish in it and uh, come back in the evening and film another video. But I appreciate you guys watching this one. Um, just a fun, quick little jig in some shallow water walleyes. And uh, like I said in the intro, if you guys are coming up here, I'd highly recommend Leech Lake. And uh, you know, it's a phenomenal fall destination. So check out Horseshoe Bay Lodge down below. Like I said, I'll link it down in the description. And uh, come on up, I'll catch a whole bunch of these fall fish. But I appreciate you guys watching. If you guys are not yet, please subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. We'll see you next time.